And if anyone wants to know the trivia of us, we were actually founded on the 15th of October, 1927. So we just celebrated it about a month ago. And um, when Dave mentioned that we were actually down to four members in 1968, there was, um, so we kind of looked at the SCC history as before one individual and after one individual. And her name is Madge Darneal. Many of you who've been around for the group know Madge. I just talked to her yesterday. She's a uh, rather advanced in her year. She really wanted to come, but she couldn't make it today. But um, really, the history of the SCC is bifurcated to before Madge BM and after Madge AM. And she took over with four members, and since then it's grown to this great group of about 800, 900 members. So really, it's a tribute to her and her energy. She's been president on and off several times, as recently as in the 90s. So um, it's really people like Madge, David Schneider, and other folks that have been around for many, many years that have made this group uh, what it is today. So we really want to thank them and acknowledge them. And uh, just about DSCC today, who are we, what do we do? So our mission is to promote all the benefits of vegetarianism throughout the metropolitan area. We do it in D.C., Maryland, Virginia, and beyond. And uh, we work with national and international organizations, knowing that we're part of a movement. And as Dave mentioned, we have a number of events, between five and ten events per month. So we're a fairly active organization. The... <coughs> excuse me. The activities range from um, outreach and tabling events to monthly restaurant visits, monthly book clubs. We have uh, pop logs. There are special emphasis groups like a singles group, an African American networking group, a GLBT group, a raw group, a family group, all these things that go on. So a lot of different activities. And it's educational. We do talks and lectures. We're also looking at planning a veg fest again next year. We haven't done one for the past two or three years. And that's a one day event. We're trying to change the model to really reach out to people uh, in high traffic areas. We're not pulling people in, we're actually going where people are, having an outdoor festival sort of an event. So that is one of our big events for next year. We're in the early planning stages for it. So VegFest DC is something that's big. Eat Smart, Dave talked about. And um, with Eat Smart, you know, there's a lot of information we give out, and the why it's good to know why people are vegetarian, why people are vegan. The Eat Smart program, the uniqueness of this program is that it shows people how to do it. It's not only just the why, but really how do you do it. What do you cook? What do you do differently? What do you need to do about nutrition? So next one for us, Dave was phenomenal as a program director this year. I just want to give Dave another round of applause for doing a great job managing this program. Good job, Dave. And also, we are reaching into the community into areas of D.C. where the population don't have access to great information about health and nutrition. So this is actually our way of reaching out into the communities, people whose health statistics are really poor, and we're working with them to address the disparity. So that's one of the good things about the program. Uh, benefits of membership. <coughs> Number of things, you're supporting a great organization. We're all volunteer driven, so there's no real salaries that go into most of the things that we organize here, only for special projects. It's a volunteer driven organization, we get outreach, we edu educate people, we try and have newsworthy events, we're hoping to get some media attention. We might be in the Washington Examiner today, if you get that, we were interviewed by them, so we might be covered there. But it's really getting the message out to the public. <coughs> I'm sorry, excuse me. We also have a membership uh, a rewards program called the Green Rewards Program. And you'll get information about that in our newsletter as well as on the table here. It gives you discounts to various businesses and restaurants in the area. A lot of restaurants will give us 10% off the vegetarian ones. So your membership costs are made up very quickly by just getting that discount each time you go. So it's a Green Rewards Program with membership discounts. It's a low cost of $25 for individuals, $35 for families. We're taking $5 today off. And also you get to attend all activities, you get some discounts on certain events, and uh, you get a newsletter. It's a quarterly newsletter, and so you get that that has all the activities and other things ongoing in the area. So the way to become a member, if you're interested, please sign up with us later today. And let's introduce the people that are here, the, the board members. So I'm Sarah Falala, the president. We have Dave Herring, the vice, vice president. We have Sonal Godel. Sonal, you want to stand up? Sonal is also our Thanksgiving coordinator. So all right. The main person leading the event organization here, so Tunnel has done a great job. Thank you very much, Tunnel. Also, Danielle. Danielle Kitchener can stand up. Danielle is also one of our board members. And we have four of the board members that weren't able to be here today. So that's A.R. Hogan, uh, Dave Perry, um, Steve Gelman, and A.R. I'm sorry, A.R. Hogan, Steve Gelman, uh, Dave Herring and David Cohen. Sorry, Dave Herring and David Cohen. Those are four. And Caroline Cherry. Yes, Caroline Cherry is our fourth who is not able to make it today. And, okay, well, with that, I think um, what the VSCC does today, our goal really is educational and community building. So, educational activities as well as building community, a vegetarian vegan community. Everything we do, 
we organize typically vegan, and we try and give information all the reasons why people choose to, to, to be vegan for, the, for health, for the animals, and for the planet. Um, with that, I'd like to introduce Sona, who's going to talk about the meaning and spirit of Thanksgiving, and then we'll get to the food. So, Sona will go to, once again, our Thanksgiving coordinator.